by this grace in this video I'm going to talk about well people around your own age now let me go into more detail on this of course if if you um, I don't know I think everybody around my age I'm 55 uh, probably grew went to school where people around your age if not your age but around your age were in the same classes okay you um, you know, you were in the same grade, I meant, and basically you t had classes with people your own age, and you spent the whole, you know, 12 years of your, your first 12 years or, you know, however many it is, if you went to kindergarten, preschool, whatever, but you went with people around your own age, and then whenever you got out, you know, you graduated, whether you went to college or not, you weren't so much around people who were you around your age. I know for the longest of my life, like I said, I'm 55, when I was working, um, I was usually the youngest in any field that where I worked. And that was, that's kind of odd because you were all, you know, too many people, I think, treat people by what they think is the age. You know, how they think they should treat someone that age, and it might be way off. You know, they, they do something like, um, they treat the person like a child. Okay, a child who needs to be told how to do things when maybe that person actually is more skilled than the person telling them. And just because the person's older doesn't make, make them know more. But, yeah, I, sh I should elaborate, elaborate that on that in a different video. Because a lot of people think just because they're younger and it's fresher, then they know more. <laughs> Not always the case. No, so older people do know, so, you know, generally, not across the board, do know more about life on the ground. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, so back to this story, back to this part. Um, you grew up around a lot of people, you know, you went to classes with people your age, you know, maybe college, with, you know, college is so different now. University, ages aren't the same, it's not like what they used to call tr traditional age. But yeah, so anyway, you start working and you're, you might be one of the only person, the only age person in that age group on a job or whatever um, you do. At some point, did, it, did any of you start to feel like it became a bit lonely? Because, you know, if you were only around people from different um, age groups, that there wasn't really anybody who could relate to you on your same level of having the same kind of memories maybe you you know you like the same kind of music from those days um, you went to the same places you attended maybe you know concert or whatever but you related on that level of being in the same age group okay and then there was nobody nobody you could feel that way toward you see what i'm saying now personally you know in these days a lot of things are online as we know it, you know, um, maybe you're on some kind of social media, you're on one right now, <laughs> watching this video, at least one, it's not seen through another one, um, maybe you join, and, and what you want to see, you, you might search for is somebody around your own age, you don't want to just watch people from different age groups, you know, than your own, because you've seen that enough out in the workforce or wherever, so you want to have, you know, somewhere you can go and find people around your own age to see what do they, where are they at in their lives, what have they accomplished, what what kind of stage are they in, um, you know, have they advanced um, in a different way than you, um, just what kind of issue somebody your age is facing, yeah, all around. Now I have seen uh, this on different social media where they would actually divide things up by age groups, say like 50 to 59, you know, this kind of thing. If you're age 50 to 59, here are some posts or whatever from people that age. I think that is a great idea. I really do. I imagine how, you know, like if you're a YouTuber, if you make videos in, on YouTube, that kind of YouTuber, if you were, or just someone who just watches and doesn't make them, any YouTuber, um, 
if, how, imagine how it would be if you could just say, okay, I want to watch people in my own age group, you know, say, like me, I'm 55, I'm kind of in the middle here, I wanted to see somebody age 50 to 59, and hey, I just click this button and I can find people who are my age, around my age. Wow, what a concept. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it's not like that. I really don't know why all social media is not like that. Where, you know, they have that option. Now, not everybody has to take that option. Maybe no, somebody doesn't want anybody to know what age group they're in. So they don't have to do it. I've seen that, you know, in one other one that's still around. Um, and they do that. You don't have to take that option. You don't have to say if you're male or female. You don't have to say your age group. You don't have to say, you don't have to give your real name, you know. Whatever you don't feel like, you know, kind of um, putting out there, you don't have to. I think that's great. But I think that you need an option to do it. To where you can, you and other people can find ones more to your whatever. Now, I'm not saying anything about, um, you know, I'm not, you know, the, there's one more, you know, when I taught at college and university, and what I taught against was against racism, ageism, sexism, elitism, you know, so the, some things I don't think that's really needed. I, I don't think that, you know, um, like racism and uh, elitism, nobody needs to know how much, how educated you are, how much money you make. Uh, what's your ethnic group, you know, some might like that idea, I don't know, you know, some might not, I would say not, because I don't think, like, on a YouTube channel, that's anybody's business, but, like I said, some people could opt in, opt out, whatever, you don't have to disclose what you don't want to disclose about yourself, I think is a good option, but like I said, some of them might be to, mm, no, why would you go there? But then again, some people might feel that about age. Um, why would you want to separate it? But like I just said, especially like health issues. When you get older, um, what kind of health issues are you going through that younger people would not be talking about? Uh, I can name a few, you know, you know. And you want to be able to see, narrow it down to where, like if you search for that, you're not going to find somebody who's younger talking about it. You're going to find somebody your own age talking about it. Not as, you know, it could be experts or it could be, you know, somebody professional in that or just somebody talking about their own personal experience and what they ask their professional about it. Do you see? Anyway, I think I'll go ahead and wrap this up. But what do you think about it? Um, leave a comment below. Okay, if you want to subscribe to this channel and you haven't already, click the circle. If you want to watch another video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you would. And I'll talk to you on another video.